Hello everyone, Peter Giannatos here with FIDE Master Nikhil Kumar, who just scored his first victory of the Norm Tournament. So he's here to talk to, uh, to, talk to us about his game. So Nikhil, congratulations. And uh, why don't you uh, walk us through um, parts of your game and, and you know, just talk uh, about what uh, moments you thought were very important. Uh, so he played um, the Nimso Indian, basically what I prepared against him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this line that he played, I had a game with this uh, previously in one of the games in round three. And, oh, okay, okay. And I found an improvement because in uh, round three, I, I kind of, I played knight f4. Mm -hmm. And it I, I didn't really get such a good position, like uh, d6. And black was fine out of the opening. So... Yeah. In this position, I found like the improvement uh, knight g3, mm -hmm. and it, it gave me like a uh, slight edge in the opening, which is what I was hoping for. Yeah. And it was so he played a sort of hedgehog setup, right? With like, which is kind of like um, he doesn't really get get much space, but he's really solid. So. Right. And then just normal development and. Here I played e4 because yeah. otherwise, like let's say if I just continue, I was gonna play something like queen d2. Right. And then he always has some idea with d5 mm -hmm. and just gains a lot of space for his pieces. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure there was never any idea of that. So just e4 here. Mm -hmm. And then, but my idea with this was yes. just, when I play f4, then there's no checks. Mm -hmm. So queen b8 is a common idea in this opening. So. And then my idea with rook c2 was just to double on the d-file because his pieces are very, very kind of passive. Yep. They don't have much space. Yep. So I just wanted to put my rook, both my rooks on the d-file and try to open up the center eventually. So he was forced to retreat because otherwise, let's say, um, yeah, he just makes a waiting move yeah. like king and j. Mm -hmm. Then I have e5 uh -huh. and take. Yep. And now he's forced to move this knight, and then the d7 knight just hangs. Right. So. So here, basically, knight e8 was kind of forced, mm -hmm. and then this move I I didn't really have like a idea with this move, but I just wanted to put some pressure on my opponent because like there's always some ideas with um, many, many breaks all the time. I have some ideas. So, right. so he played bishop c6. And then here I had, I played knight d5. Oh, nice. Great. And mm -hmm. I wasn't really like uh, sure if it works. Mm -hmm. But then after I thought about it for a little more, then it looked uh, pretty good. So... The idea is that if he if he takes this way, mm -hmm. and I just take here, right. and if he moves the bishop, then I take here, uh, gaining a tempo on the queen and the bishop. Right. So his best try basically is to here take with the pawn, mm -hmm. and then I take this way, and then I put a double attack on the bishop and the on the other bishop. Right. So his best try was to take it again because mm -hmm. he's already up a piece. Right. And then. Here, this the material is equal, but I think my position is just clearly better mm -hmm. because um, my bishop is pointing towards the king, yeah. and so are all my pieces. And now you have the f5 square for your knight yeah, on g3, exactly. which you didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's forced to defend the bishop, mm -hmm. and then exactly the knight comes to f5. Mm -hmm. And it looks a little dangerous with the rook on the same file as the queen, but he doesn't have like any any idea with his bishop, so right. it's bishop f8. And then queen f2 hits the b6 pawn. Mm -hmm. And also I'm threatening knight takes h6, followed by bishop takes f6. So I think he's already um, lost by now. Yeah. And then he plays knight d7, which stops all my threats for the moment. But the, the attack against the king is just too strong. Yeah. Yeah, so now g7 is hanging, h6 is hanging. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I think g6 was forced. Mm -hmm. But then I have bishop h5. Oh, wow. And he can't take either of my pieces, so yeah. And I'm threatening if he just plays a waiting move. And I have here, and 
it's just me. Yeah, yeah. So he had to play um, king h7, but then I have this move. Oh, wow, that's great. And knight h4, and it's just waiting. Oh, and he cannot protect g6. So I thought, like, he can, the only way he can continue is like this. Yeah. Uh, it, the, um, the material is equal. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so, so did he resign after knight h4? Yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, congratulations on your first win of the tournament, and it seems like a nice game. Um, just curious, so I, I was thinking this when you were explaining the opening. You had the same position in the third round, you said, yeah. and um, you put the knight on f4. Yeah. Do you think that in this variation with knight g to e2, that it makes more sense to wait for black to play d5 before putting the knight on f4? Because like yeah. what you showed me, it was like... Um, when you played knight f4 in your game, they never played d5, and I'm assuming later, yeah, like yeah. e5 came attack. So, okay, that's that's cool. But yeah, I really I really like this game. Um, wow, sorry, this is wrong variation. Particularly this move, um, knight to d5, which is like a common thing in like the Sicilian and yeah. so forth. So, it's um, not yeah, that this was a Sicilian, but yeah. <laughs> And uh, I think, would you say that, when, where did this, yeah, yeah, would you say that this was like the major turning point? Would you say like, like, cause it seems like the game takes a tactical approach yeah. after knight to d5, which um, doesn't really work out for black, it seems. Um, I'm not, I don't know what the computer says, you know, but, um, but uh yeah, it seems like after this, it's, it's quite possible that the black positions just can't take can't take it anymore and uh, yeah so i thought after that you conducted yourself nicely and uh yeah so congratulations on your first victory and uh hopefully you can uh, score some more in the last uh, three rounds okay sure thanks a lot for the interview